Hey everyone, welcome. This is MDog, and I wanted to take a moment here to create a short video featuring a new UI, new to me, not new to uh, the masses, but new to me, a new UI that I'm using in World of Warcraft. Now, I've been playing WoW for a long time and honestly have not used many of the UIs that are available, and there are countless, and they've evolved over the years what they've been able to do and what they've looked like. So this is one that uh, I found that's a very popular one that you can get through the Curse uh, site, which what I'll do is below the video, I'll link, uh, I'll link both Curse, the specific place where you can get this mod that is called the Spartan UI, as well as a required mod that associates with this called um, Bartender 4. And you do have to have Bartender 4 installed as well as uh, the Spartan UI mod for Spartan UI to work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to get everything out of the way here so that all you see is the the, the screen. Um, so bye bye. Here we go. Okay, so now all we see is um, the World of Warcraft screen. So in playing a lot of other games and then coming back to WoW from time to time, one of, the thing that, one of the things that has frustrated me a bit is the UI and how it looks. And again, I, I've often just gone with the default UI, but in this most recent time and coming back and playing a little more WoW, I have just said, you know what, I, I can't do this anymore. I need to find a better option. So let's scroll up a little bit here and get a little closer like you might normally play um, <clears throat> and see what this looks like. And what I really want to do is not necessarily play the game, but I just want to show you a little bit about this UI. So if you notice down here, the main system of, of the UI is, 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 and the goal of it is to remove everything um, around your character and north of your character or above your character on the screen. So it just takes everything down here, as you can see. Um, so, <clears throat> the, and, and one of the one of the few exceptions to that, I mean, see the buff is up here, um, but one of the few exceptions to that, of course, if you're in a party or a raid, and, and I'll show you what that's gonna look like in a minute, you'll see frames uh, up here where you typically would see them. Um, but when you're pl just normally playing, most of the information is gonna be down here in the bottom. So you see, you know, who I have selected, you know, whether you had a creature selected or whatever, comes up down here, and that's just opposite of where my character's portrait is. Um, and the portrait will show sort of what class you are, and you can have that color-coded as well, uh, and that's important to see if you're in a group. You can tell quickly by looking at colors or symbols what classes people are. It shows my level here, and it shows the actual, the, by default, it's showing the number of uh, health and mana I have. This is a level 28 paladin. Uh, down here, it's going to have action bars. And, and one thing that is, um, if you get into using this mod, and if you haven't used it before and you want to and you start using it, one thing you'll see is when you go to key bindings, and we'll show you this now, um, <clears throat> you have your normal action bars, um, you know, starting around here. And <clears throat> see, I normally have these all bound to different modifiers so that I can quickly select different skills and abilities and whatnot. Um, but when you're using this, you actually need to go all the way down to where it talks about bartender four bars. And so if you see where my mouse is hovering, this is gonna be bartender bar one, two, three, four. So one and two on the left side uh, horizontally, three and four on the right side horizontally. Then you go back to here, this is bartender, this is, um, uh, bar five is more of like a square over here and then bar six of course is over here now getting away from the action bars you see the mini map has been located down here and i love the look of this mini map most both the location getting it off your screen um, and also just the way it looks i think this is a really cool looking mini map by default you can take some of these buttons off and make it even more simple uh, to look at and you know, you've got server time and location and, and coordinates all listed right here. So everything is just easy to see where it is. I think I mentioned your experience bars down here. It tells you what rest of experience you have. And then the other thing I'll point out is that all of these buttons that link you to different things, whether it's your bags um, or the all the different buttons that take you to different functions in WoW. And, you know, of course, you have shortcuts. 
Uh, like if I want to look at my character in info normally, I just hit C. But if you do like clicking on these buttons, they're here, they're just sort of hidden. You can't hardly see them, which again is nice. It just takes a little bit of the clutter off. Um, so not to belabor the point, but I will just take you real fast. And here's a list of very few add-ons do I have right now. Um, just sort of playing with, with basically I've got a couple of the uh, auction house and I think Actually, I don't know why I have both of these. Uh, oh, no, sorry. That's Altaholic. I'm misreading here. Altaholic and Auctionator. I have switched back and forth between a couple different auction ones, but anyway. Bagnon, which it, for me at this point is a must. Just getting all the bags into one, one spot and some of the other options you can do with that. Recount. But then Spartan UI, and here we go. So I just wanted to show you, just to, and I'm not going to go through all of the options, but there are a lot. You know, within general options, there's a lot of things you can change. Here's mini-map settings that I was telling you about where you can um, hide the zoom buttons. I mean, I don't, I don't ever, once I'm zoomed out on the mini map, I don't usually ever uh, change that. So I like to have that checked where it's, uh, where it is uh, taken away. And then under some of the settings, there are even, you know, multiple things you can adjust with font and other things. Um, and that's just under general film effects. I haven't really, and we'll enable this just to show you what, you know, vignette, and you see on the side of the screen, it's, it's just kind of blur. I mean, there's some weird things you can do. And I suppose this is more getting into, um, I, I just can't imagine playing with many of these on, but if you're making, you know, movies or doing different things, maybe that would come into play. Party frames. And this is where I'll show you just real quickly. If you click this to show party frame while in solo, that's what the party frame will look like. And again, almost everything you can adjust the scale size so you know is that too big for you just take it on down to whatever size you like like for me you know right about there i can still see and read it um but it's pretty small um of course when you're solo you don't really need that up that information is already here uh and you can check to display yourself in the party or not but anyway with player uh party frames and all these other things there are lots of options um, raid frames, spin cam profiles, so you can set up different profiles for different characters because different classes, there may be some different things you'd want to affect. So again, we're not going to go get into all the options. That's more, um, if, if you like the look of it, then it, you know it might be something you want to get in and play with. I did want to show you one thing though. Um, was it transparency? Yes. So you know if you don't like, you know it's got this solid gray bar at the bottom, but if you notice I've moved transparency to the left, that's gone and all that's left are all the buttons and you can pretty much see through everything to see the ground so you know that would then actually even have more of the of the screen visible but for me for whatever reason I kind of like the transparency turned up uh, maybe not all the way but um, I, I, actually I do think I like it all the way and and for me at least I like sort of Okay, that's where all the buttons and things are anyway. So I kind of like the idea of just having this whole area blocked off um, <clears throat> and, and being able to, to do it that way. And, and if you want to move your chat down to here, you can and kind of get make it smaller and get it out of the way as well. So um, anyway, that is Spartan uh, UI. And again, I'll put the links down at the bottom of the video. But uh, in case you know there's folks out there like me that hasn't played around much with different UIs, it's funny, but I think it can sort of breathe new life in a game when you when you can mod it like you can in this and many other MMOs to get these add-ons that um, you know just make make it look a little bit more modern or just tailor it to what your preference is. And for me, at least, Spartan UI is is something that I've been really really been enjoying. So anyway, as always, I appreciate you watching and. Uh, any comments or feedback you have, please feel free to leave it. And if you've got a, a, a UI mod that you especially enjoy, tell me about it in the comments and, and I'll go check it out because I'm, you know, now that I've gotten into this, I'm, I'm curious on how many other great UI mods there are that are out there. Uh, but for me, at least what I've seen so far, I think this is kind of the one that I'm going to use for a little while. But um, like I said, as always, thanks for watching.